Greetings, all. It's the Deepest Monkey here. It is uh, Wednesday morning, about 11.15 ish, and I'm sitting here this morning doing my calls for the day. So I have recorded probably like 10 videos since the last one I posted and just haven't posted any of them because I've been busy doing other shit. The bottom line is I didn't go out this week. I had technical difficulties, couldn't book a hotel, the weather was shit, and it just didn't make any sense for me. So I have been talking with my dealers, which is perfectly fine. I've also gotten caught up. I am literally caught up to the moment for updates and all the other stuff that, that I would normally have to do. So life is grand. Here's what's going on. I sat down and gave an honest assessment of what I'm doing, what I want to do going into the future with my photography and the video stuff for like this channel. Then assessed all the gear that I have in various iterations around here and what I realistically use and what I don't. Then I removed my ego from the equation and the dog and pony type atmosphere that we all live in and decided that there was just a bunch of gear that I didn't need. At one point, when I was like out of my mind frantic about my finances, I was gonna sell everything, which I knew would be a huge mistake. I know myself that I'd end up, you know, trying to reacquire it again at some point. So rather than do that, I was like, okay, realistically, what do I use? What do I use every single day? What would I just be crushed if I got rid of? And I had put like all this stuff on the chopping block over here in the corner and I made ads for it all and took pictures and all that stuff. And I posted it to uh, a Sony selling group and they just deleted everything. They never posted it. I never got a reason why. They never contacted me. They never said, here's what you did wrong. They just didn't post it and they deleted it all. And that was a huge, huge waste of my time and it pissed me off to no end. So I removed it all and said, screw it, I'm keeping it. And I unboxed everything and I put it all back into the cabinet and I started using it. And I was like, that's it, you know, I'm just gonna keep it. I've already paid for it. There's no point in me getting rid of it, bah. That's when I gave myself the honest assessment this weekend and thought, okay, this is stupid. The only thing that's happening with this gear that I'm not using or that I'm using once in a blue moon because, well, I have it and I feel bad, like I should use it. Not good reasons to actually hold on to the gear. So like I said, was gonna say, what was happening was that it's just, it's depreciating. Like Sony puts a new camera on the market every two weeks and all these lenses are coming out and all these systems and microphones and this, that's and the other things. Like every day there's some new shit coming out and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm, I'm killing myself in the trade-in value. So what I did was I sat down got a list of all the gear and pulled everything out of my cabinet and realistically said, do I use this? Will I use this? Should I even bother to use this? Or am I just keeping it for the sake of keeping it and, and occasionally using it just because I've got it and I feel bad? And I separated everything out and I came up with a bunch of stuff to sell back. I went to KEH and MPB and I got quotes from both for all of that stuff and then I just separated it out into who gave me the most for each one of those things. KEH gave me the better offers for the cameras. MPB gave me more for the lenses. So I ended up selling the Sony 20 to 70, the 10 to 20, and the 11 millimeter to MPB. And then for KEH, I sold them the A7 IV, the ZV-E1, and the 16 to 35 F4 power zoom. The nice thing about KEH, because I subscribe to the Snapchick, Lee, and now it's Lee and Raymond Photography. She is like, a, I don't know, like an ambassador for KEH. She plugs them all the time, and they've also given her a code to give to us so that if you sell anything to them, you put her selling code in, you get 5% more. And if you buy anything and you put her buy code in, you get 5% off of, of whatever you're buying. I have used that several times. Every time I've sold something in the past six months, I've used her codes and you know, I've saved 5%. Every little bit helps, right? Especially when you're talking about expensive photography, videography gear. So I ended up using her code and it got me 5% more. 
and I'm not going to complain about that. So yesterday I went and bought a couple of boxes, packed everything up. They provide the shipping labels and all that stuff, and I dropped them off at FedEx and sent them off. I really did like those two cameras. I've used all the lenses and I like them, but realistically don't need them. What I have left now is pared down to currently what I use on an almost daily basis or will use and makes the most sense for me. As you can tell over the past three, four months, but basically all last quarter and going into the beginning of this year, the monkey has sat down and done some serious soul searching and decided what made the most sense for him. And I went through and I, you know, I bought all that shit and redid my garage and got rid of a shit ton of stuff in there. I moved my magical drawers, the original magical drawers down there underneath my new workbench, went through those and got rid of a bunch of stuff and just kept the stuff that literally I can't tell almost every day, like eight times a day, I run down there to look for stuff in those magical drawers that I will use. So everything that's in the magical drawers is stuff that I will use or have a use for in the near future. Everything else that I got rid of was junk that just needed to go away. I have started the little magical drawers down here now that are up here because I got tired of running up down the stairs. So it has stuff that makes sense for me up here. And then I got a couple of small uh, magical drawers underneath there that uh, have all the little itty bitty pieces and stuff, you know, like all the little parts and pieces that go to, you know, on a cage or, or a, a setup like that. So everything makes sense now to me. I have cleaned house. I have done honest assessments with myself and, and, and gotten down to gear that I'm actually using. So I just wanted to go through and give you sort of like what's going on, kind of where I intend to go into the future. I'm still looking at model mayhem every day, trying new things, trying to meet people, trying to get out there and practice shooting human beings again. Uh, I'm pretty excited. It, it's been very fun with, with getting the gear together and learning how to shoot humans again and learning about lighting, especially because lighting today is way the hell different than lighting 15 years ago. But in the end, the concepts are all the same. So once I learn how to use everything properly, we'll be good to go. Right now, I'm just to let you know, I'm going to loosen my sphincter in regards to talking about gear because I think I've gotten enough of the entitled viewers asking me questions about nothing other than gear that I'll start talking about gear a little bit more because it has changed so much over, over the past year from what I had and what I, what I have now and, and what I'm doing that, you know, I want to bring that back into the mix because it, it is part of this whole thing that I'm doing. So right now I'm shooting on the Sony FX30, but I have one of those Suray sniper lenses on it. I've got the 23 on there and I have it at F1.2 and I don't have any external lights on. My window is right there and it's a bright sunny day. And then I have the TV and the computer screens all around me and that's it. So that's why I keep looking at the screen because on the screen, it looks amazing. What do you think? Enough blathering on. That's the lay of the land. That's the way things are going, going forward. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna stop talking now. I gotta call in 15 minutes and then I'm gonna take my happy ass out and I'm gonna go take some pictures which probably means I'm not. I'm gonna to go to three ships and I'm gonna drink caffeine. <laughs> so that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.